Hyper-consumerism. It's an unavoidable aura of the 80s and 90s shopping world we all once lived in, provoked by that shop-till-you-drop atmosphere of those big-name department stores and malls all across America. You and I can remember those younger days of being overwhelmed when stepping into a mall, right? Entering these enormous structures that housed hundreds of different stores, providing that overabundance of goods we all thought we needed. The vast color palette of persuading store displays and advertisements, that smell of cinnamon buns and buttery pretzels, and the faint sound of water fountains coming from any corner of the mall, no matter how far away you were from them, provided an inevitable invitation to the youthful imagination granting access to a world full of exploration and discovery, our one-stop destination for everything we could have possibly dreamed of. And nowadays, this experience has basically been distilled into a more practical form as the process of purchasing goods has developed over the years due to advancements in technology and the internet. The assurance that came from being able to physically touch something you wanted to own has now been replaced with the high-resolution product imagery of online shopping, a virtual plaza where all your shopping needs can be cleared in one simple process search, click, and wait for that product to show up on your doorstep. I'm sure we can agree that this method of consumerism was unavoidable as the technology-driven age we live in progressed. However, if you're like me and grew up in those days where shopping malls thrived, it's easy to find yourself missing the grand exposure these commercial structures exuberated, the idea of leaving your house and going to discover something you want to buy. And with those treasured distant memories, certain musical artists have produced to recreate the experience of these shopping adventures, which is how an interesting little online birthed music genre known as Mallsoft came to be. So, what is Mallsoft? A branch off of the Vaporway family tree, Mallsoft is a music genre that is constructed with interesting treatments of jazz, soft rock, bossa nova, and old R&B samples to give that feeling of basically being in a shopping mall. These samples are treated with a variety of different filters and sautéed with a heavy amount of effects to create this distant sound, like you're the only one trapped in the middle of the night in an open world shopping mall. Taking a sample and slowing it down, echoing it, and placing some heavy filters on it to make it sound like it's coming out of some distant, worn-out speaker system echoing through the vacant mall. Throwing in some beeps from a cash register, the clicking of a woman's heels on marble flooring, and a store's PA system announcing a new exciting flash sale on men's jeans, I guess the mall's opening up now. Let its ambient escapism connect you to your memories and resonate in a way that makes you truly feel like you're back in that gigantic mall you would go to as a kid. And just like any other subgenre of Vaporwave, the aesthetic and art style of Mallsoft plays a big part in getting the listener to really get it. Artificial palm trees, shiny wax floors you find yourself slipping all over in like Sears or something, escalators, big windows, shopping bags, people in sunglasses, I'm, the list goes on and on. All these little things that express that retail lifestyle we once remember is overly exaggerated in a lot of Mallsoft artwork. While the actual music of Mallsoft sounds very tranquil, distant, and washed out, the shiny, elegant, over-the-top, and grand art style we see on a lot of Mallsoft albums give that you know, artwork the complete opposite vibe. It's kinda cool, it combines everything into this perfect nostalgic cocktail we never knew we wanted to sip so bad. A musical experience blended from so many things, only to ironically drown out as you listen to it while doing some work or some other productive or not productive activity. In 2014, we saw the release of Palm Mall by Cat System Corp which is probably the most widely known and recognized Mallsoft album that pretty much executes these procedures of Mallsoft musical creation norms in such textbook form. The first half of the album is literally the sounds of a mall at its early hours, an emphasis on each and every little sound effect that you might hear when strolling through the mall as it's awakening. The second half is where more contemporary vaporwave structured style songs come into play and further invite you into a world of lost shopping malls, hyper glamoured by our youthful age of innocence and excitement. And the album cover feels like it's coming straight out of a Sega Dreamcast game from the 2000s, plagued with sharp-edged foliage and the smoothest surfaces you've ever seen. An air-conditioned heaven you feel like you once visited long ago. God bless the damn janitor who's responsible for the upkeep at the Pop Mall. Its vacancy of any shoppers further enhance that vibe that you're alone in this dreamy shopping adventure. You're the first one there, hope you find exactly what you're looking for. Palm Mall is not only an essential listen to the mall soft newcomer, but just the vaporwave listener in general. However, I do invite you to check out more of Cat System Corp's discography as his work greatly excelled in future releases with more hands-on production and charm. 
Although not a mall and more so a supermarket, Groceries Yes We're Open is also another juggernaut album of the mall song genre with its wide range of samples and constant motion of ambient filtering to flood your ears from start to finish. I dissect this album and other food, cuisine, supermarket based albums in my Vaporwave and Supermarkets video if you want to see more albums that give off this supermarket hungry vibe, but Yes We're Open just does such a great job at becoming this piece of music to pretty much ignore as you're doing something else, which is what a lot of Mallsoft is. And it's done so with its stretch samples that echo onto each other and you kinda like they kinda get annoying almost to the point where you just you don't want to listen to it. It's, it's really hard to explain, but you do anyway, and it's just there. In many tracks, you'll find the sounds to like prolong for more than it should, sometimes being laid on top of each other multiple times to almost become power chords in themselves painting the notes for the album. Also, similar to Palm Mall's artwork, Yes We're Open hits those same mall soft stereotypes by providing a habitat empty of any other people but you, as you look out over the overabundance of food ripe for your purchasing. Vacant Places by Hantasy is another Mallsoft album that fits the Mallsoft ballad as it's long, stretched out riffs of pianos drenched in reverb and beautiful choices of jingles and tunes sampled all build up just another atmosphere to aimlessly shop in. Its tracks provoke unsure memories of isolation, unexplored areas of a mall that are only visited by the sound waves of smooth jazz and contemporary piano pieces that just barely reach them from the cheaply wired mall speaker systems. That smudgy artwork on the album glorifies this dreamy vision, right? A foggy and hazy escalator system bringing you to a variety of different shops and places to eat. I really like this album a lot, its eerie sense of unawareness is something I find very interesting and curiosity always kills the cat for me so I gotta listen to it. No joke, the album sounds like you were like drugged up and placed in some empty shopping mall as some social experiment monitored for god knows what and you can't find your way out, so you might as well get used to the music while you're there. So I can't make a video on Mallsoft without talking about recent news, release of one of the most highly awaited Mallsoft and Vaporwave albums to date, Palm Mall Mars by Cat System Court. An evolution to the original Palm Mall, this 2018 album features 16 tracks of luxurious mall lurking pleasure. A treatment of traditional 80s and 90s samples, all toned up with Corp's undeniable experience and age in the Vaporwave realm. The album takes the tried and true formulas of Mallsoft sound and makes it new sounding again. A unique technical procedure that can only be executed by the Mallsoft surgeon himself. To be honest, it feels like all of Corp's work, as well as Mallsoft entirely, has led to this moment with this release, as Palm Mall Mars really can be seen as Mallsoft to its highest degree, as well as something new, fresh, and inviting at the same time. I mean, who wouldn't want to go on a shopping spree on Mars, right? I would also check out albums like Mall Moods, Christmas at Crystal Valley Mall, and Hologram Plaza. There are a bunch of great musical projects out there that'll give you your consumerist craving taste buds just the right amount of mall memory dosage. Just like many other subgenres of the Vaporwave catalog, it's extremely easy to find yourself lost on Bandcamp and SoundCloud, aimlessly strolling around page to page, becoming unaware of just how deep your backtracking in the Mallsoft catalog is going. There are a ton of different things to explore and just get lost in, making this smooth smoky and blurred theme of Mallsoft sound that much more prominent to the experience altogether. The process of purchasing goods as we remembered in our youth is gradually dying. And with Mallsoft, we have a key to an innocent past, a time when looking back at it seemed to make an uneventful procedure of going somewhere to buy something actually exciting. A romanticized memory, fun to stop at while riding the nostalgia time machine where the dozens of colors emitted from the products of store shelves seem so much more exciting than the search bar of an Amazon homepage. With Mallsoft, everything seems to be so alive, yet no one seems to be around. Is this just a dream, or can you really purchase what you were here for in the first place? Wait, what was I even here for in the first place? Thanks everyone, much love, your boy, I'm gonna go shopping for a little bit, patch anything.